What is going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, taking a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're going to be talking about an overall trading update as well. What stocks am I currently trading? We're going to be talking about that, as well as taking a look at some earnings plays as earnings season is starting to unfold here in the stock market. Where are we going in terms of the markets? Where could we potentially be headed now that earnings is kicking off? So before we do get into those topics, for everybody out there that finds value in these videos, you enjoy the content, all I ask you to do, guys, the only thing I ask you to do is go down below and hit that like button. It really supports me and supports the channel in general. And if you're new to the channel, there are two links down below, one of them being the Discord group chat and the other one being the Facebook group, both of those being 100% free of charge. And I guarantee you guys, you'll find value if you do end up joining those communities. So today, it wasn't much of an eventful day in the stock market, right? The SPX, the five. 500 largest publicly traded U.S. companies ended up closing the day literally at 0%, up 11 cents at the close. Not much movement at all here on the SPX. The Dow Jones Industrial Average ended up closing the day down about 14 points, down about 0.05%. Not much movement there at all in terms of the Dow. And the NASDAQ ended up closing the day a bit more red than the other two indexes, down nearly 0.3%, but still not crazy movement, only down about 21 points on the day. So in terms of technical analysis here, in terms of a technical breakdown, there's honestly not much difference from what we talked about in yesterday's video, right? And for those of you all that didn't watch yesterday's video, let me just do a quick little rundown of what we were talking about, right? We really were trading above the 2890 level of support over the past couple of trading days, really during this time period of about one, two trading days. Now we ended up breaking that level of support, making it a level of resistance at about 2890. And since then, we've really been trading between 2880 to 2890 in between this little horizontal pattern that we we see here, right? This 10 point gap is where we've been trading and it's just been a lot of slow movement over the past couple of days. Really just some consolidation, a lot of just consolidation and we can see here exactly what I'm talking about, right? Pretty much over the past three trading days, We've been trading between these two trend lines, which again is just a 10 point gap, you know, in uh, the S&P 500 here. So we can see again today, you know, we popped up above that level. We tried holding it as a support again, like we did a couple of days ago, but we failed as the S&P really tanked about, uh, you know, nearly 10, 11 points here at about 1140 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, you know, from there, we were really having difficulties breaking out of that level again and maintain it as a new support. So now it's just treating it as a resistance again, guys. So this 2890 level is a very strong level of resistance. And I mentioned that the markets have been boring, right? And you saw in the title of the video, you know, what direction is the market going? At this point, you know, with corporate earnings coming up, it's really just setting up for a pop or a big sell-off, right? We're seeing the point in time that we're in right now is just a consolidation phase where we've seen in the past, you know, we consolidate and either we pop down or we pop up, right? So now that's what I'm waiting for. Are we going to end up popping up? Are we going to end up popping down? And a lot of this movement is going to be on the tail end of earnings, right? What are we going to start seeing in terms of earnings? Are earnings going to be strong, right? We have banking earnings earnings tomorrow, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo. These are going to be two big earnings plays, not really earnings plays, but earnings from big companies that can really kick off earnings season and that could really affect the overall sentiment that we're seeing here in the stock market, right? So hopping over here to the Dow Jones Industrial Average again, just like the S&P guys, not much movement. It was a pretty boring day overall. And it seems like we're just maintaining that level of support that we were talking about in yesterday's video at around $26,100 
right around here, which was an old resistance. Now we're maintaining it as a new support. And we're really just trading in between this 100 point, um, you know, window from 26,200 down to about 26,100. And again, you know, corporate earnings are starting up. You know, are we going to start seeing some good EPS numbers or is guidance going to be strong for these companies? You know, this is going to have a huge effect on the markets, right? I was reading an article earlier and I think it was about, um, you know, the uh, the EPS for the S&P or earnings for the S&P being down about 4% from last year, which makes sense because the economy is slowing down. So this is something that you have to take into account. So if these earnings, you know, drop again, you know, this can again have a huge, huge uh, effect on the overall stock market. So that's pretty much all I have to say, you know, in this video on the Dow Jones, right? You know, nothing crazy. We're still maintaining that level. We're pretty much consolidating here, getting ready for a big sell-off if earnings are disappointing or a big pop if earnings season does very well. So let's hop over here to the NASDAQ composite very quickly. And it seems like we got rejected again at that level of resistance that we've been talking about at around $7,630. In yesterday's video, we talked about how if we were to break out of this level, you know, that's a one-stop shop to the all-time highs in my personal opinion, right? Because out of this resistance, there's really no other resistance levels until the all-time highs highs and we're really extremely close at that point right we would be around 90 points off if we were to break this level putting us you know about a one percent you know, maybe even less than a 1%, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? A 1% move away from the all-time highs, right? So just keep an eye on the NASDAQ. Again, it's going to be affected by these earnings. Let's say we have good earnings. You know, you know, the big names do very well. Tech companies do very well. You know, you should expect the NASDAQ to be at all time highs. And of course, just keep an eye on this 50 simple moving average support level as well, since it's been a support over the past couple of months, as we can see here. And, you know, keep an eye on the 7,500 level, which was an old resistance, which is now acting as a new support. So we're pretty much trading in terms of the NASDAQ, you know, in between this level of 7,530 and 7,630, about a hundred point window there. So not much again, to talk about in terms of the overall markets here, but what I want you guys to be focusing on, what I'm focusing on here, again, is the corporate earnings, because this is going to be huge in terms of the overall markets, the sentiment in the overall markets, and the way investors, traders, the people out there actually buying and selling stocks, the way that they view the market. And let's say, again, the earnings disappoint, people start selling out of stocks, taking profits, that they've had, you know, over the course of 2019, you know, this could end up in a very bloody, you know, tail end of April, beginning of May, you know, in terms of the overall stock market, guys. So just keep that in mind. I can't drill it enough into your heads. It's going to be huge here in the next month and a half, um, you know, in this, in the overall stock market. So in terms of my trading today, guys, Honestly, I didn't take any day trades. I'm pretty much still sitting on my swing trades of NVIDIA and AMD. These are two stocks that I'm currently in, and these are the ones that I'm planning on swing trading here over the next couple of weeks. So AMD, the fact that it's still maintaining the 50 SMA is a very good sign for me to continue to hold this stock, right? We've noticed the 50 SMA has been a support here over the past couple of weeks. The only thing I want to see now is a break and a hold into the $28 level. And from there, I'm planning on adding more money into AMD. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on three stocks that I'm planning on swing trading, one of them being AMD and the other one being NVIDIA, go check out the video I uploaded today. Actually, before this video, I go more in-depth on three swing trades I'm looking to make and continue to add money to in the month of April in 2019. So the you know the gist of it is guys, I'm looking to hold this one as long as it's maintaining this 50 SMA support and Nvidia 
Today it actually did decent. It fell down a bit, but it's still maintaining that level of support at around 188 that we've been talking about. And honestly, I want to see a break into the 192 level, 193 level before I do add money into NVIDIA ticker symbol or or add more money rather into NVIDIA ticker symbol NVDA. And again, I break this one down further on that video that I uploaded a couple of hours ago. So go check that one out. So that's all I'm doing right now in terms of trading guys. Again, the markets have been a little bit flat, a little bit boring. There hasn't been much movement, which has really led me to be a bit more conservative and a bit more cautious here over the past couple of trading days and especially today until we see some distinct direction in where the market is going to be pushing. And again, the earnings are definitely going to decide, you know, where the market's pushing. So let's say we have a big sell-off in the market. You know, I'm going to be going back to playing, you know, TVIX and the bear ETFs, right? Ones that, you know, benefit when the markets are selling off, you know, when crude oil selling off, you know, when natural gas is selling off. Not that those are completely correlated to the market. Market, but these are ones that I'm going to be trading, right? And if the market explodes, right, I'm going to be pouring more money into stocks that do well when the overall market does well, right? So again, you know, just keep an eye on those earnings. So now that we're at it, guys, I have some earnings pulled up here, you know, on my Safari. And let's just take a look at the ones for tomorrow. And then we'll look at some, you know, very quickly here. I don't want to spend too much time on this over the next couple of weeks. So tomorrow, oh my God, I went too far back here. But tomorrow, April 12th, is the five earnings that we're going to be seeing here, and they're going to be mostly banks and financial industries, right? You see, or financial companies, rather, you know, PNC, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, and First Republic Bank, you know, JP Morgan and Wells Fargo being the main ones here. If we're hopping out a little bit to next week, you know, we see a big earnings day next week on Wednesday. We have 75 companies um, reporting earnings, and you can see them here, guys. And of course, if you want to look at this yourself, I highly advise you to do this. You can understand when your companies, the companies you're invested in, are reporting their earnings. You can see all of the companies on Yahoo Finance. That's what I personally use, and it's a useful tool in my opinion, right? And if we hop over to the next week, this is when things start to get juicy, right? The 23rd of April, we have 150 companies here reporting earnings. The 24th of April, we have 233 companies reporting earnings. And if you just scale, or uh, scroll down here on Wells, or not Wells Fargo, Yahoo Finance, guys, you're going to see some big names, right? Let's just see what we can pick out here. We have Coca-Cola. You know, there's a bunch of other big names down here. You know, I don't want to spend too much time, you know, Verizon, you know, and the list goes on, right? The 24th of April, uh, April, we have 233 earnings. You know, we have Amazon here. So we're going to see, you know, how our consumers you know, responding this quarter, you know, in terms of buying things on Amazon, right? We buy things on Amazon in 2019. You know, that's what most people are doing, right? We get our paycheck, right? Obviously, some of it goes to investments, savings, bills, stuff like that. But then people, you know, consumers out there, people are buying stuff on Amazon, right? So we're going to see, you know, what their earnings are looking like in their different businesses. And if we're looking down here more, we have another big business here, AT&T. You know, uh, let's see some other ones very quickly. You know, Spirit Airlines, for those of you airlines people out there, I know Warren Buffett himself is very heavily invested in uh, airlines right now. So if you're invested in airlines, you know, this could be a big play for you. And again, the list goes on, guys. The list goes on. There's just so many companies. And just think about it, right? You know, Moody's, all these big companies, they're going to fluctuate the market. It's going to be a point in time where okay, we're going to understand the guidance of these businesses, where everything is looking to push. And that's going to give us a better understanding of where the overall market is pushing. So again, I don't want to spend too much time on this. You guys can go through and look at the earnings yourself, but just know, you know, especially during this week, and let's just look at the next week for fun. There's a ton of earnings. And yes, even the next week heading into May, look at that, the 29th of April, you know, the 30th, you know, we have Google on this day, you know, the 30th we have, let's see, 
you know, a bunch of other ones. You know, we have a bunch of big names on the 30th as well. You know, the 1st of May. Guys, this is the earnings season is rolling up. So be careful and be, you know, mindful of what you are trading. Because let's say another tip I want to give you guys. Let's say, you know, you're looking to hop into a stock right now. You're looking to hop into a swing trade, but they report earnings in a couple of days. Be careful, guys, because when companies report earnings and let's say their guidance goes down, their numbers aren't that great, and you're holding that as a swing trade and you don't realize they're reporting earnings, that can really burn you, right? You can lose a ton ton of money, you know, if you're holding through earnings and you don't realize earnings is coming up for your particular swing trade. A big example of me right now is, and I'm an AMD, right? And I understand that earnings is coming up for AMD. I believe it's on the 24th and that gives me about 13 days. So hopefully I can get out of AMD by then with a little profit here and I can reevaluate the situation after they report earnings. That's ideally what I'm looking to do. So that's just a couple of, um, you know, tips here, a couple of uh, things that you guys should be looking out for. Again, you know, earnings, make sure you understand your companies that you're in, especially for short term trades, understand, you know, which one of them are reporting earnings, be mindful of this, because it can push the stock up a ton. On if you're lucky, right, if they do really well, and the stock goes up a ton, that's great for you, right. But if you if you get burned, that sucks, right. So you just have to be mindful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to go down below and hit that like button, guys. I really do appreciate every single one of you all uh, that do that. It really means a lot to me, and it shows me that you enjoy the content and you want to continue to see more content from me, quite frankly, right? And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe down below. Hit that red button and hit that notification bell while you're at it so you're notified every time that I do make a video. And drop a comment. What do you guys think about corporate earnings right now? Are we going to be going up? Are we going to be going down in terms of the stock market? Are we going to see a bloodbath, right, since 2019 has been so great so far? You know, I would love to see what you guys have to say about that. And again, if you want to see three stocks on swing trading and more in-depth analysis on those three stocks, go check out the video before this one. It honestly should be right up here. So go check that out. And again, I appreciate you guys watching. Good luck tomorrow. I'll talk to you all in the group chat. Peace out.